I have a colleague at work who has a huge mountain of work and he will need to come during the weekend to finish it. You don't do the same work so you don't have any way to help him. Still, you know exactly what it is to spend a whole weekend at work. On such a day, we decided to stop by the office with the coffee and some cakes for him, along with encouraging words and warm hug. Fellow Toastmasters, dear guests, you can be proud of yourselves as you have just shown a pure and noble ex human expression, which is empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand another person's thoughts and feelings, but not but from their point of view, not your own. People usually use empathy and sympathy interchangeably, but they are not the same. Sympathy is when we are moved by the thoughts and emotions of others, but we still maintain this emotional distance. Brittany Brown, in her famous TED talk about empathy, said that sympathy is like seeing someone in a deep hole and talking to him from above. But empathy is going down that hole to sit beside that person and making yourself vulnerable and try sensibly to connect with him. Empathy happens when two parts of the brain works together. The emotional, sentence, uh, the emotional center perceives the emotion and the cognitive center tries to figure out why that person is feeling that way. Generally, there are three types of empathy. Cognitive, emotional, and compassionate. Cognitive is when we just know, we have an idea about how the other person is feeling. The emotional empathy is when we feel something just because someone else does. It's usually this is the case when we see a sad scene on a movie and we start crying. And there is another type of empathy, which is compassionate, is when we go beyond knowing and feeling and we start figuring out how we can help that person. Actually, we are all, we can all empathize uh, towards others, but in different degrees. Some people are, have high level of empathy, some of them have low empathy, level of empathy, some others have none. <laughs> and we can, you can, uh, you can uh, distinguish such people by some size. For example, some people are very critical in judgment towards others. They usually blame and criticize other people for, more, for making mistakes, and that's what we hate in those masters. <laughs> that is a sign of a lack of empathy. Another sign is when we is when we uh, is when yes is when we <laughs> <laughs> another sign is when we are convinced that if we are in the same situation we could do better but actually we could not do better there because we are not in the same shoes we, we didn't wear the same shoes that are, uh, that, uh, that the same should as this, uh, as this person. To conclude, researchers have shown that empathy makes people better managers and workers, and better family members and friends. And I believe that empathy goes beyond its personal effect. We are all on earth to live here together. So if we don't empathize, it's gonna be a mess. And as you did, Lara, the famous American psychiatrist said, empathy is the medicine that the world needs. Thank you.